and has really stepped into the starring role for the team. And as much as their success hasn't been as much as I think the Miners would want, it's not through any lack of her part. Nice passing. Beautifully done. Alicia Jenkins finding the cutting ice slopes. Haverfield goes around the first line of D. Now it's Sutherland. Kicks out to Jenkins. Puts up the three from straight well, away. Alicia Jenkins. Well, I said she's going to need to drop 30 for her team to win. She's uh, a third of the way there already. Jenkins found a half an opening and hit that jumper with confidence. Down to two. She's got to step back and shoot. Front iron almost made that work. Nikita Young with a rebound. The streaking Alicia Jenkins. And she good finishes running. that strong. Yep, good Alicia rebound Jenkins. and good outlet. Sutherland, they're just kicking around the outside at the moment. Booth with a nice lobbed pass, and eventually they find the gap. It's Alicia Whoa. Jenkins, and she overdid it. Got her own rebound, though. She'll go up the hard way. Well, Missy Ears, you want to hit the tough one? Young has to basically go from there. Two, one on one. the shot clock. Got Good it up presence. in time. And it's Jenkins That's with the offensive point. rebound. That's just good positioning, isn't it? Right behind the legs of the D, they'll resume the offense. Plenty of time in their shot clock. Sutherland to Lopes, into Jenkins. Just outside the key, she just stops and pops there and obliges with the jumper. Now that, I believe, is the first basket for either team. So covers the inbound from the side. They'll get their 14 shot clock. Happy field early sealed by Jenkins up with the uh, righty fadeaway. And Alicia Jenkins, that's her bread and butter. Again, the chance to really put the miners away. They've missed their last couple of opportunities to do that. Jenkins, that's a three-point attempt from oh. the corner. They never got 10 feet off the ground and it still went in. And now it's a 12-point game.